Welcome to Prayer and Bible Band, Lesson 12. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is a scheduled conversation. The background reading is coming out of Psalm chapter 57, verses 2 through 3, Acts chapter 10, verses 29 to 31, and Hebrews chapter 5, verses 5 through 10. The devotional reading is coming out of Psalm chapter 73, verses 25 to 28. The central verse says, As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. And that's Psalm 55, verses 16 through 17. Psalm chapter 57, verses 2 through 3. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that will swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Acts chapter 10, verses 29 to 31. Therefore came I unto you without gainsaying, as soon as I was sent for. I ask therefore, for what intent ye have sent for me? And Cornelius said, Four days ago I was fasting until this hour, and at the ninth hour I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing, and said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard, and thine alms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. And Hebrews chapter 5, verses 5 through 10. So also Christ glorified not himself to be, to be made a high priest. But he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. As he saith also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh when he had offered up prayers and supplications, with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and was heard in that he feared. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Called of God, a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Psalm chapter 73, verses 25 to 28. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a-whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all thy works. We are busy people. We rise in the mornings and a host of daily matters demands our attention. Listed amongst these items are showering, eating breakfast, exercising, getting ourselves ready to go to work, getting kids off to school, and checking voice and text messages. We return home from work in the afternoons or evenings. We prepare dinner, pay bills, help the kids with homework, go through the mail, and do some work around the house. Before you know it, it is time to go to bed and start this routine all over again. Life is complicated. There are so many issues which require our attention. One thing for sure is that many of these items have no simple answers. Often we face challenges to our finances, issues regarding disciplining our children, concerns about whom we should marry, questions about whether we should change church, jobs, or remain with our current employer. If we are in a leadership position in a local ministry, so many new items arise. 
the shifting social and economic changes in our circumstance, especially in light of the recent outbreak of the COVID-19 virus, present unique challenges and concerns about how we do church, fellowship, and care for the saints. If we are to manage successfully these situations, we must designate periods during our day to think about and deal with these tough items. Just as we set aside time during the day to handle specific items in our life, we should earmark time during the day to spend time with God. This is so important because while we may not know the answers to many questions that confront us, the Lord knows the right answers to all questions. Oh yes, he knows the solution to every problem. Because life is complicated and because the Lord knows everything, there is something we should practice. We should set aside time each day to fellowship with God. We should have regular prayer times. The writer of Psalm 55 believes it is vital to call on God and to call on God frequently. The writer of Psalm 55 says he will approach God evening, morning, and noon. It looks like the psalmist set periods during the day when he will be in conversation with God. The psalmist calls on God because he is confident the Lord has the answers and will and permit his power to show itself in life's circumstances. Just as Psalm 55 verse 17 lists times for calling on God, we should set aside times to reach out to the Lord. These moments should be fixed parts of our daily schedules. Here is a suggested strategy for making spending time with God a permanent, unvarying part of our daily schedules. Number one, rethink our daily schedules. Number two, find or create a block of uninterrupted time in our daily schedules. And number three, reserve this block of uninterrupted uninterrupted time in our daily schedules for fellowshipping with God. And number four, safeguard this block of uninterrupted time in our daily schedules for fellowshipping with God. Modern medicine and science prove that regular exercise has excellent benefits from lowering blood pressure to losing weight. Daily exercise has excellent benefits for the body. I know of a young man diagnosed as prehypertensive. The doctors wanted to put this young man on medication. The young man, however, asked God about natural ways to deal with his blood pressure. The doctor said that weight loss, diet, and exercise would reduce the young man's blood pressure. The young man decided to take an all-natural approach to manage his blood pressure. He changed his diet and started drinking plenty of water. Most importantly, he removed other items from his schedule and committed himself to going to the gym regularly. Over time, he developed a habit of exercising. He lost weight and his blood pressure dropped tremendously. Like this young man who prioritized his physical health, we need to prioritize and develop new spiritual, new spiritual health behaviors, one of which is the habit of prayer. We must rethink our daily schedule and move prayer to the top of the list. Prayer must take precedent over other items. Let's train ourselves to pray. Question 1. How would we go about identifying a time in our daily schedules to spend time with the Lord? Question 2. How would having a regular time for prayer affect our daily schedules? Question 3. What is stopping us from having a regular prayer time in our daily schedules? And question 4. What are the significant concerns we might have about having a regular time for prayer in our daily schedules?
The essential thought says, is time with God on your daily to-go list or daily to-do list or is time with him an afterthought? Notable scriptures for today's lesson. And you may find scriptures on your own to go with today's lesson. Psalm 42 verses 1 and 2. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Psalm 63 verse 1. O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Every one that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. And you can look up scriptures on your own for the presence of God and continue to pray to him for he hears you. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.